Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to more Dicey Dungeons. We played the Jester on stream, uh, and we beat him. That video is up uh, on the channel, hopefully by the time you see this. Let's go Curse of Greed, man, which is going to be uh, the new first episode that we're going to do uh, that isn't kind of the standard episode for the characters. So we've got two battle axes, and all of my equipment is upgraded, which is great, but we're also extremely, extremely cursed. Uh, so it should be a really interesting scenario for us. Um, they're having a nice conversation. She's being a real pain in the rear, and here we are. So we got two battle axe pluses. I mean, they're like stupid good. You can't deny. Uh, but we have that thing called, uh, we're extremely cursed. We have a curse. It's only a curse of one, but it's a curse nonetheless. Uh... Good stuff, man. At least the curse is done. Give me a four. Eh, fair enough. Do four damage to him. Move on with your life. Uh, at least we're not... I, I remember this challenge being that you had 99 curse. Maybe that's me remembering wrong. Uh, and it basically resulted in just being in hell the entire time. That's totally fine, dude. Hit him for eight and get me the heck out of here. I'm very happy with how that went. Uh, snag this. It's a staff. I'm okay with that. Uh, staff is fine. Get a little bit of a burn deck going on here, I suppose. Might be a bit of a, a strange thing to build around, but that's okay. Reroll one more time. Two sixes, huh? I'll go for broke. And this is a bad idea, to be honest. Okay, you know what? Totally good idea. Who was I to say a word? We've leveled up. Extra die. Head on down. This is going to be a, is a big old test your freaking luck run today. Uh, keep in mind that staff will not activate. Um, I mean, not the ideal scenario, but it was still okay. Uh, staff will not activate curses unless we get the last bit into it so what we want to do is we want to whittle it down uh and then once our curse is depleted chuck something in there to hit him uh and possibly use that as the fury i mean that's 16 damage when we fury it which is pretty good to be honest reroll reroll okay so bang not ideal to be honest with you uh because we're in a position where if we do this with Fury, we either kill him or... Ah, it's, it's horrible, actually. Let's do this. And it worked. So you know what? That's fine. Um, You win some, you lose some. That one we won, which is good enough for me. I think that I can beat the pirate without... Although he does hit pretty hard. Let, let, you know what? Use the die. You Use the health. Use your dice. Do it all. Okay. Smack that in there. Come on. Give, give me. It's, it's, it, uh, fives are not useful to me. Curse. Beautiful. Burn them. It's basically use up what you can on the battle axes, even though they're insanely good. Uh, the battle axes are fine as items, but use up what you can on them, and then use staff uh, when you are in a position where you can't do it no more. So, like, you do a little bit of this action you're cursed that's fine hit him for 16 and kill him and that's totally fine I, I think that that's a good way of doing that we level up again uh see like boomerang seems a little dangerous right now upgraded is very good uh, but spike shield i mean i think that that just fits in pretty well here uh gives us something to dump things into bump is too good to pass up because it's a perfect target to try to get rid of the curse Anything that allows you to do stuff multiple times, great target to remove curse. So, bump, and that's fine. Not a problem by me in the absolute situs. Hit you for eight. I'll reroll you one more time. Okay, I mean, it's two damage to your face. It's not great. We'll dump it into staff instead. Bump is now kind of our uh, end-all, be-all move on this run. So, you reroll, you reroll, you reroll. Okay. You bump, you bump, totally fine. Put up five shield, do eight damage. He can't even hit us for really that much, uh, so the shield is 
it, it's very effective against this man. Do a little bit of reroll. Do a little bit of reroll. Bump. Okay, it's a six. Let's bump this. There's the curse. Fantastic. And as a result, you're dead, my dude. This is a good setup. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, bump was a godsend on this run. And I, I assume that they probably give you bump for that reason. Target shield being reusable is also pretty good. Same with dagger. Um, I'm going to buy target shield. You know what, dude? I'm in. I'm in. I think that that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good setup there. Now that's a duplicate equipment. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna duplicate. <laughs> like that, that's a little bit of a weird, weird ball to me. Okay, so that's gone already. Let's reroll this. All right. Reroll it again. I mean. It's not a bad turn if you can hit him for 16 is kind of what I'm going to go with here. I mean, how can I be mad about hitting him for 16? That's pretty good. But, um, it just seems a little bit wrong, I guess. All right. So how do we want to play this? I mean, we could just kill you. That seems intelligent to just kill you. Yeah. Probably could have been another, another path to success there, but... The whole just killing him thing? I like that a lot. What do we got in here? Spatula. With three uses is so bizarre. Um, we're going to want to flip that in and out when we get freezes. Uh, enemies that freeze you. Because spatula will be better than bump in those scenarios. Otherwise, I don't think it will be. So we'll be a little bit cautious about that. Okay, that's already done, though. Let's... I think we're in a position where we want to just hit you for the eight and burn and die. Although it's doing eight. I mean, we reroll this. Ye Let's do it like this. Okay. Let's do it like that. We're still in the camp of bumping everything. We need more. The situation we're in is we need more dice. Um, as long as we get more dice, we're, we're great. That's already dead. Fantastic. Uh, I need, I need not a six. A two is actually okay. Um, did this fight kind of sucked? <laughs> just gonna point that out. Uh, he's gonna do like four damage to me here, and then just keep in mind that we're, he's thorned right now. So bump. That's already dead. He is dead, but we will take a little bit of damage in the process. That's okay. Honestly, you eat the damage because you're gonna level up anyway. Not the end of the world. Uh, extra die incoming. Good stuff. Come over here. What do you got? Yeah, I'm just not too interested in any of these. Uh, Buckler is fine. Don't get me wrong. But Snake Eye Charm, it is actually... You, you could do something with this. And let me figure out what you can do with this. It's something along these lines. Where you could actually get value out of doing this. Let, let's at least try it. And then in terms of a copying an item... There's something about, like, copying Snake Eye Charm that I feel like we could just get really dumb. Th there's a lot of weird paths that we could take here. Let let's see how this works against this guy first, okay? Let's see how it works against this guy. But it might be terrible. And I, I'm okay with that. So that succeeded. Okay, and that's done. So now, what do you want to do here? I mean, I feel like... So he's weak to ice, but he's not strong against burn. So let's do double that for 16 damage to burn. Then that for 8, and then that for 3. I mean, that turn worked really well, but I feel like it's not going to always work like that. Also, incredibly rude, game. Don't burn the dice he ain't going to use. Okay, so that sucks. Uh, we can roll two more ones for no good reason whatsoever. Let's re-roll this. Okay, now I feel acceptable re-rolling into two ones. Cool. You might as well burn them, right? 
I mean, we could kill you. Yeah, I mean, that's just more intelligent to kill you. You take two damage to kill him instead of taking probably significantly more and not killing him. Okay. Thank you, Fire Detector, for doing that. It's going to scare the crap out of me in every video I ever make. Uh, okay, so another spatula. And, and this is now... There's something here. <laughs> what a dumb run, dude. I, I'm super in. It's just as super dumb as well. Let's fight vacuum. Because you're now in a position. Flip it upside down. Cool. Now you got sixes. Roll some ones. Beautiful. Flip it upside down. Flip. Holy lord. Please stop. Okay. Flip it upside down. Back to a one. Reroll it. Into a five. Flip it upside. I flip the three ups. Okay, now you finally actually the one that I needed you to flip. Okay, beautiful. It, it works fine in the end. You got the direction you wanted, which was basically two eight damage bangers. If we're doing eight damage a turn, we're or sixteen damage a turn. We're, we're kind of set, right? Okay, so that's a curse. That was a two. Roll the ones, and then re-roll the ones, and then you're dead, dude. Okay, this is going extraordinarily well. Extraordinarily well. Um, not mad in the slightest. Staff for a claw. I can't bring myself to do that. Dude, I love claw, too, and you know that. Anyone that watches Dicey on my channel knows that I love claw. Uh, we can't, I can't bring myself to do that. So, beautiful, did not get cursed, spatula, spatula, totally fine, because guess what, you got another spatula. And now, I mean, you're basically in the clear anyway, you're going to burn two of those, and you're going to smack for eight, that's 24 damage on turn one, that's the max amount of damage we can do on a single turn, and maybe that's too low, it, it, it might be, but I feel like 24 damage on a turn is stupidly good. So flip, totally fine. Roll some ones, and now you flip. Okay. Flip the two would go to a five. We need a three or a four. Three or a four. Unfortunate. But we can flip this back, do two damage, and then dump these in there for another eight. He should be dead on the next turn. We're killing things quick enough for me to think that this works. Uh, who knew that double spatula would get the job done? I mean, we're, we're in pain a little bit here, but that's okay. So flip. Beautiful. Roll some ones. Totally fine. He is dead. So it's a move point. Uh, worked well, and you got a fury for the future. It's just your old HP is a wee bit down. It was a rotten apple, dude. What the hell is this? Okay. Uh, didn't expect that, to say the least. Roll some ones. There's the curse. Totally fine. Okay. Uh, what do you do? Reduce health in half. Okay, he's going to want to use all of his dice, so let's do... Let's do the fury on staff so he's burned. Smack ya. We need a turn like that, dude. Okay. We did one damage to me. Little rude. Not gonna lie. It's okay. Flip. Totally fine. Roll some ones. Flip. Flip. Reroll into a four. Reroll into a four. A three is totally acceptable as well. Just gotta survive. Oh, he will kill himself. He can't do crap. Well, I mean... He can do crap. In fact, he's going to reduce my health to half. Not great, but we're going to regen to full, so it's a bit of a moot point. There's that, and you're dead. Okay, so Rotten Apple. He's a pain in the rear. Going to have to keep our eyes peeled for that. Um, rolling two sixes. Uh, it, it's kind of irrelevant, to be honest. Uh, Pirate Hook is real good, though. Dude, it's actually so good. With what our setup is, it's so good. To the point where I'm actually just going to put it in now. I think that's crazy good. Because we can just dump sixes into it now. That's going to be insanely strong for us. We're at full health. 
That's going to be insanely strong for us with Snake Eye Charm. Also, new floor layouts, man. I'm loving it. Okay. There's a new enemy there that I've never seen before. What the hell, dude? Did Dicey have an update? I know it's just the, uh, the challenges, but my god. Okay. I, I need you to actually eventually break, though. There we go. Uh, guess what, though? That's a lot of damage to your face, man. Now, it's technically more damage if I can roll a four. So I'm gonna try. I didn't, but you had the spatula as a backup. It's a terrible sound in that in that boy. I'm just gonna say that right now, but that's okay. So I mean, he actually did a metric buttload of damage. That's what we call it here, is a metric buttload. Flip, okay, totally fine. Let's do double this, and you're dead. Oh my god. It's a run. It's a run. And I felt very weird doubling spatula, but that appears to have worked uh, pretty much as good as anything could work. Snowman is just going to give us ones, which we then spatula. That seems good. Singer scares me because I don't know what she's about. I've never played her, so that that's new. And worrisome. Okay, dump that. Two more ones. Flip. Totally fine. We're now in flip mode. Okay. There's a six. Totally fine. There's a five, which we can flip to a two. Not useful. Another five, you can flip to a two. Less valuable, but still acceptable. He gets the smackdown. We can do a lot of damage per turn, and getting another die is going to benefit our life in an incredible fashion. He did a buttload of damage to us. You don't love to see it. You don't love to see it at all. Beautiful is not an issue. Because you're you're kind of in the clear here. Might as well just do that. He, he's dead in the next turn. As long as he doesn't kill us, which he will not. He'll do four damage to us. Now, we're not going to have a lot of HP going into a uh, future fight here. Okay, there's that. And you're dead and we save the fury. Okay. Is good. Is good. Now, we might want to use Fury on Snake Eye Charm. Just keep that in mind. It's going to be a little dangerous. We're going to fight Singer here. This is going to be a little dangerous. We have to make some decisions here. So, Spatula. Fine. Reroll. 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 Okay, let's dump. This and okay, there's the curse. Let's fury snake eye charm. Boom, boom, boom. Eight damage. Six, 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 one. That's a really good turn, dude. Now, please don't do 19 damage to me. This is a sucky person, dude. Weakening my stuff is crap. It's very crap. I hate it. <laughs> a lot. Okay. A min of four? It completely ruins my entire strategy. Um, don't curse. That sucks, dude. Okay. Um, so what's my course of action? Is basically, for the love of God, survive this turn. Oh my God, dude. We're dead. We're actually dead, and that pisses me off. It pisses me off hardcore, because we had a run that was actually, like, really good. It was a very good run, and you ruined my life because of it. Uh, unfortunate, to say the least. Okay, we're gonna hop in next time as the thief. We're just gonna cycle them. We're gonna cycle them until we eventually complete all of them. Uh, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, a like on the video helps me out to know you're enjoying Dicey Dungeons. We'll continue to crank out more Dicey content in the future. You have a good day. Goodbye.